from a rune that once existed but no longer does to old school players who can never fap ever. We count down 10 more interesting facts about RuneScape. Number 10. So some of you may know this already, but some of you may not. I certainly didn't. Did you guys know that above the combat rings there are symbols of which style they're directed towards? For example, the Seer's ring has a lightning bolt above it, the Archer's ring has an arrow, the Berserker a hammer, and the Warrior ring has a scimitar on it. I really had never noticed this before. Number 9. Back in RuneScape Classic, whenever you would swear, it wouldn't be blocked out with stars, but instead with words like noob or cabbage. In my personal opinion, I think they should have left it like that. That'd be hilarious to see today. Number 8. In the early development stages of RuneScape Classic, there was a rune called a Life Rune, but it was never implemented into the game due to the limits of the game engine back then. It was intended for use in necromancy, which had ties to magic, and it was supposed to be a lot like today's current version of summoning in RuneScape 3. In the development diary of 2007, Paul Gower says, We actually made the Life Rune for Classic, but didn't release it. Some players discovered its existence, but there was no way to actually get it. If life runes still existed, charms and shards today wouldn't exist, because life runes were supposed to work a lot like the shards and charms do today now. Number 7. In the fancy dress shop in Varrock, there actually used to be a red party hat in the stock, but it was always set to zero. Players would always wait for it to spawn up to one, but it never did. Many players believe this to be a prank Jagex played on its players. Number 6. You literally eat everything in just three bites. Even drinks. You bite your drink three times. Yet you never break the drink container or cut your mouth if it's made of glass. Yeah, I, I can't handle it. Number five. So this one's kind of obvious, but I'm really interested to see what you guys think about it. How the hell can we hold swords if we don't have any fingers in old school RuneScape? Also, we cannot fap. Ever. I just figured I'd point that out to all you RuneScape 3 players out there who can since you have fingers. So there it is. Number 4. When you examine one of the piglets in Drainer, it tells you I shall call him Mini Pig. This is a reference to Austin Powers whenever Dr. Evil first sees his own clone and then decides to call him Mini Me. Number 3. Have you ever wondered which NPC has stayed the same in appearance the longest in RuneScape through all the updates and such all the way up until today? Well, without a doubt, it has definitely got to be the dwarves. Dwarves, though changed now, still kept their old styles of appearances for a long time. Even after players got fingers in RuneScape 3, dwarves for a long time still had little stubs as hands like old school players do today. Number 2. Most people know this already, but there are a few out there that don't. The random event in which Dr. Jekyll asks for a herb from you, or attacks you if you don't give him one, is a reference to the mystery novel Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Stevenson. It's about a doctor who created a potion, splitting him into two distinct personalities. He existed as the kind, gentle Dr. Jekyll and the fearsome, malevolent Mr. Hyde. Number one, I'm not too sure if this is the case now, but many players believe that Jagex's appeal system for when you get in trouble used to be ran by an automated response service. For example, if you got banned, you could literally say in your appeal, screw this game, I quit. And depending on the type of context you used within the appeal, you may receive a message in which the first sentence of their reply might have been, you obviously care about your account, and they may have accepted your appeal. That's it for this countdown, and if you know what I should be counting down next, post in the comments and let's make it happen. Thank you guys for all the recent support and everything, I really appreciate it. I will talk to you all later.